We're here with Will Demps on the red carpet. Will, how's it going tonight? It's great. Here for a great cause. It's good to see Marshall. Uh, great turnout. I'm excited to be here, uh, see the fellow Aztecs, and uh, it's a great time. Yeah. So, what are you doing with yourself these days? You know, illustrious career, and then uh, a little bit of wet willies. Yeah, I've been I've been honored, I've been blessed to play football, and it got me into the restaurant business and entrepreneurship. Uh, yeah. Wet Willies. We just had a two-year anniversary downtown in Gaslamp. Beautiful. If you haven't been, come by. It's fun. Uh, just in this, I've been blessed with the opportunity to uh, open a restaurant and uh, be back in San Diego, and I couldn't be in a better place in San Diego. Yeah, right on. So for for those of the, you know kids watching in the audience right. and so forth, reflect on being an entrepreneur and then having played. You know, so well in your career, plus in San Diego State. I think it just goes back to uh, you know being in school, just making sure you're setting your goals. That uh, you know, you know you're, when you're young, you're naive, you don't know what's going on. You hear right. so many different things. Uh, you know, I don't know what my major is going to be. I don't. I don't want to strive to do that because it seems too long, too far. I don't want to be too too much schooling. But you know, and, and distractions. And distractions. Yeah. You know, especially with a lot of social media. You know, especially with the society we're going through, especially election year, things like that. You don't have no one to really lean on and, and and have that drive. For me, I was just blessed to understand that I set my goals at a young age. Being a San Diego State, I was a walk-on, knowing that you know everybody was partying. But I said, hey, you know what? I'm getting the books and you know practice and work on my craft because in 10 years down the road, that I know I want to be successful. And I was blessed to be playing eight years in NFL, um, being an entrepreneurship. Because if I if I didn't set my goals when I was younger, when I was a San Diego State, I wouldn't be able to achieve to sit here talking to you guys, understanding that hey. I would never have to open a restaurant if I didn't play football. If I didn't play football, I had to put the hours in the gym. If I didn't do the hours in the gym, I had to go to the studies and study right. hall. So it's all a domino effect, and you just always got to put your mind to it. Right on. So who or what was your inspiration? My parents. I think uh, just to drive, that when they worked hard every morning, uh, waking up, you know, you know, make sure we had food on the table. Uh, you saw them work. You know, tremendous hours, and understand that. You know, I didn't want I didn't want my parents to struggle more, and, and so that I w made sure I went to school, made sure that I, you know what I want to take care of them. And when I did, you know, have my parents retire, and I was blessed to do that. But it was all it was all hard work and dedication. If I didn't have that drive, and I was blessed to be San Diego State, not just because I went to San Diego State, but the great teachers, great counselors, great coaches, and and guided me to where I'm at today. It's just you just need one person, that one person they can look at me and saying, hey, we'll achieve that, walk on a free agent in the NFL. Because can't rush on auction move and been successful. You know, lean on me. I can. I'm always here, and you know, a lot of Aztecs are here, and that's why you, Marshall Fox always comes back. And you know, it's about the life. It's about the education. Coming back, he doesn't have to be back here. You know, he didn't have to do this for for us and for the kids and for the, the city of San Diego. But he comes back at his own time. You know, he had a game last night commentating. He's here, <laughs> bright eyed, East not Coast, tired. Right. East Coast, yeah. and you know, that's what that speaks volume of Marshall. And it speaks volume of how we came to school here and. We all bonded as Aztecs, and that's we bleed red, red, black, and blue. You know. How about a memorable moment uh, on what? the field, off the field? You know. I think the most memorable <laughs> moment is when we beat uh, BYU. I think it was Coach Lavelle's last home game at BYU, and uh, kicked a field goal. And you know, I just remember the stands was just, it was just there was no, there was nothing. They were just it was just quiet, and we just I just remember around the field and was like we were I think we were doing bad things, and you know it was a Mormon school, but. We didn't care. We beat, you know, that thing, well, that was a highlight for me in Aztec. Mm -hmm. So, tell us um, kind of like a confession with those those that may not know something about you that you, you might reflect on, that like your biggest confession. Whether uh, it be at state, whether it be now, whether it be as a kid. Uh, I think the confession, I think a lot of people know that I was a founding father here. I was a, I was in a fraternity, uh, Sigma Pi. We started a fraternity with David Bedard, you know, Joe Mar Butler's, the Derek Lewis's. Yeah, Larry Ned, I don't know those guys, those names ring a, ring a bell, but you know, we were also fraternity brothers and we started something and we were just we just wanted to party and it was something that we did and it's not no longer here now, but I think that's something that I don't think a lot well, of Well you you founded it, then you shut, shut it down. down. I think it shut down after we left, but we, when we were here it was great and I think a lot of people didn't understand what we did, but it was it was a group of a group of guys. Even though football is fraternity, we had our own set of fraternity rules, and it was fun. But I think that bond, I don't think a lot of people knew about it. So, so now that the 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 house is no longer on campus, you want to show me like the secret handshake of the Sigma Pi house? I can't do that. You're not Sigma Pi. <laughs> but it, it, it is a secret handshake, and uh, 
you know, it's funny because Tony Romo, a lot, a lot of people don't know about this, Tony Romo was a Sigma Pi too, so uh, when we played the Cowboys, you know, it was always, we always get jokes with you wear our letters and mm -hmm. it was always a little butt of joking in the locker room, but that was our little confession, you know, so. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Will, great hang with you on the red Thank carpet. You. Back to you.